they, I mean, he was basically alive for a long time before they finally killed him. So they thought he was dead, but he wasn't really dead. So I, sometimes that can release junk into the meat. Like if you kill any other animal that doesn't die right away, it can really stretch him up. He presses so he can breathe while he's trying to swallow something really large. And so this drops it down while it grabs onto with these two mandibles. Okay, anyone else want to see that? See that? Close so it can up? spread up. And it can go open as well. So it can spread it in two ways. It has nostrils right there, but... Yeah, that's how it normally breathes. Just so you know. Yeah. Okay? So yeah, you can breathe through here too. So what's the use of your teeth? I thought both of like these... This is a, this is a reticulated python. Okay. So he, Sharp those teeth are. Um, I see there's another layer of teeth on the inside. You They're might really want to come around so you can see it. There's teeth on the outside, there's teeth on the inside. You see, see that? Those, wow. those lower jaws. Too. Okay, and the lower jaw, see how it's two pieces? It can open up, and that's one of the ways he can get a bigger animal. And then this jaw joint right here will open up as well. Okay, so. Uh, do we have something we can stick in there and leave it open? Uh, I need a dowel or... I don't have anything a... that small. Snakes have remnant feet. Two on here and two more further down. I'm not sure where it's at yet. But these are actually lizard-like feet. So they are related, very closely related to lizards. These guys here, those are feet. Really? Yeah. Well, what I might do is go ahead and open it so you can see the goose, but we're going to focus on down surface. Okay, now let's go to the other end, and I see the guy pulling his sextant. Just in case he can sell it. So as a reptile... In case he can sell this skin. skin. Yeah, give it to him if he wants to. I'd buy this skin. Do you have any of the uh, snippers that you uh, want to use? Really big ones or you want to do small ones? Uh, I'll no. try both. Contribute it to annual fund. Uh, well, one of my, one of my friends uh, look at the blue thing right behind you. There should be smaller sets of scissors. Which one hand me a smaller set of scissors, please? Can you sell this skin? Can you come yeah, here? Yeah, and that's why we're trying to cut on the one side of the white, because I'm not sure how they'd most prefer it. I know that a lot of guys strip the snake hole without cutting into it. I think it's a better... Uh, Rajan. We're gonna, can we turn on all four air cons? Gonna need oh, yeah. More who has clean hands? I do. Okay, so who has clean hands, go grab the air con thing right hand. there. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's well. Thank you. Oh. It's right there by my Elmo. It's right in the front. Okay, and we're going to let you guys, if you want to cut, we're going to let you take turns cutting. So, you see how we're cutting? These are the traction scales, the really long, rectangular looking ones. I'd love for you guys to cut along the seam here so that we can open up because these are very valuable in the leather trade. So, if we can just cut along the transition, I think we would do really well for them. Yeah, typically if they're going to do a dissection, they cut right down right. the middle. Now, right. Now, the other so thing I want to point out, do not cut through the subcutaneous fat because you'll get at the organs, they're gonna get really stinky in here. Did all you guys hear that? You want to open it up and slip the point. See if that one actually cuts better. Yeah, you want to slip the point into the fat area and lift it up away from the body because if you cut open the belly and the bowel and all that, you're gonna get a waft of really strong smell. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, you're going to ruin the What's the better, our kitchen belly. shears or those little this ones? Works. Okay. This works. This works really well. Those are your right. kitchen shears. <laughs> yeah. We'll sanitize Not them. Not anymore. Be, Want to come over for dinner? <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, honey, we're going to have lots turns. of meat. Let them take turns. Here. Okay, All so right. who wants to cut? All right, so I want you to just take a turn, just take a little bit of time. Um, just go up a little bit. We're just going to work on cutting, and then we're going to stop and open this section. Do you mind if I have a... I want to see the goose. No, you don't have to cut. Yeah, that's fine. Just stay on, stay on this. No. Okay, how's it feel? So hard. It's hard to cut through. Yeah. All right. So remember that we're still. Okay, guys, we're all we're learning times. Okay. So the Yanshuda said. Careful, don't cut the. Yeah. Yanshuda said that it's hard to cut. Who else wants to cut? Okay. Okay. Let's let her, and then you can go next. Okay. So. Be real careful to stay on this side. I don't go into the white, so come over just a little bit. Yep. And then she said it was kind of tough to cut. We have a flip camera to YouTube video. Well, we just we can video with mine. Yeah, we okay. They're video. They're videoing right mine. They're taking turns. Oh, sorry. Oh no, you're fine. <laughs> it is pretty hard. Good job, Michelle. Okay, let's see what we can see before we break. We're gonna let you cut in just a minute. Pass us a rick. Okay, guys, stay with me. Let's see what we can see. So as we open it up, 
You've got layers. Oh, we already see some fat. Okay. So. This is actually faster. Okay. Well, I don't necessarily have to go fast, but okay. I want to be careful. Yeah. So you've got the subcutaneous layer here, and you see already you're seeing his ribs. Can you see the we'll pokiness of the ribs? Oh, yeah. You want to feel the pokiness of the ribs before we mm -hmm. peel that off? Whoa, that's. I know. It's like it feels like. Everyone, take a turn. Is it oh. it feels like it's, it's, it's bone. It's so thin oh. looking. I mean, yeah, it's got really. And we'll try to strip that off some more. Oh. Creepy. Oh, okay. And then we're gonna have some. Oh, we got some things right there to see. Okay, Rick, why don't you go a little farther? This keeps going between the skin what? and what? the interior. Check it out. <laughs> that is like this. <laughs> <laughs> Shoot, beard now, would it feel pain if you cut off the slime like this? Hmm? Uh, well, it's no longer alive. Yeah, but I mean, if it were alive. I don't know how their pain kind of nerves work, honestly. <laughs> I'm just trying to be careful. I'm assuming if it has. Cut past the fat. <laughs> Careful. How do you autofocus this? Uh, it's it's getting a bit old, so when you go in too close, it won't. Okay. It takes a while focusing, so it's better just to use the right there this, and zoom. This. Is it letting you zoom? Yeah, it's letting me zoom, but when I zoom close, 